Hey folks, Moose here. So this video is the last one of the uh, the video game systems. So this is a PS2. Um, so I, I believe I've scrapped one of these before, but you know, it's been a while, so why not do it again? So this one is, of course, it's broken. Everything's missing. There's no power cable. There's no no cables whatsoever. No remotes or no controls. Nothing. Um, this came from a friend of mine who does cleanouts, and it's, I mean, the bottom is like warped, so you can tell I got hit somehow. Um, and for parts on eBay, these things are going for less than 10 bucks. And if I can't make 10 bucks on it on eBay, it makes more sense for me to scrap it out and make a video on it and end up making more money on it that way. So, without further ado, we're going to take a look inside so you know that, of course, if it does work, sell it, you're going to make more money on eBay, um, but, you know, not everything, unfortunately, works out that well, so you, know, you do what makes the most sense for you. So let's take a look down here. All right, so we've got the PS2 with a little memory card, put that aside for now. Now, I already like this better than the Xboxes because... It's got Phillips head screwdrivers. Or screws, not, to, not those little Torx bits. Oops. Hey, get in there. There we go. Alright, so we've got a big chunk of plastic. Put it aside for now. And we've got. <laughs> a large so that's that's the drive right there Let's see if I can find any screws to take out nope. just some wires all right so right off the bat I've got the drive um, these drives I mean this one doesn't even have a board and the boards or it's right there so with this I mean you just pull out the wire if you want to go fishing for the little electric motors there's one there there's a little one there um, if you want to go for the eye um, this one is pretty dug in there but there's a little eye on these things sometimes they're sometimes they're big but you know they look for the most part kind of like that it's gold plated, has some gold legs on it, so it's, some people like to go for that. Alrighty, next up. So, I've got this thing, which is where the memory cards plug in. Uh, let's get a little board in that, put that aside for now, come back to it. We've got, looks like the main, the main part here. Alright, so we've got our power board. So again, check with your scrapyard. Uh, I know a lot of you guys who watch some of my other videos might get tired of hearing me say this stuff, but you know, scrap smarter, not harder. So check with your scrapyards, see how they buy boards and what prices they'll give you for it. Um, so if you're when you're scrapping something like this, you want to get the price of like power boards, if that's how they take them, or low grade boards. Uh, which is how my yard would take this, right? And you want to ask yourself, all right, so how much do they pay for low-grade boards? Well, how much do they pay for... Oh, that's Ferris. Never mind that. How much do they pay for transformers or little electric motors? <clears throat> this little guy right here, uh, you want to take these off and process those kind of like um, IC chips. Um, but with these things, you want to ask, you know, if your scrapyard pays you more for these things than they do for the board, then take them off and sell the board as is and sell these for whatever category they fall in. Um, otherwise, if they pay more for the board, leave them on. That way you get you know, more money for the weight. But things like this, they won't miss, I'm pretty sure. And this is, um, I believe it's just called a single inline package. 
So these little guys, they've got uh, they've got some copper in them, but they've also got some gold bonding wires in them. So you process them just like IC chips. I mean, it, it's nowhere near as profitable as IC chips, but you know, gold is gold. All right, so we put that board aside. Uh, a piece of light iron, and we keep digging. All right, so. Start off with this thing. We've got magnetic, so this is steel. We've got little brass um, pegs here. These are where uh, like screws go in and anchor. And we've got a couple of nice extruded aluminum heat sinks that are just being held in by um, these little parts of that stainless steel, uh, that steel sheet here. Aside for now, oh, that next one's going to come out easier, I think. Yep. And again, when you're working with, with stuff like this, you know, be careful. There's a lot of sharp edges here. You know, I don't want any of you guys to slice your hand open for ten cents worth of aluminum. All right. So we got this light iron. We got our two chunks of aluminum. We got little pinch of brass. All right, and we've got this piece of steel that was the other backing. We've got this cooling fan, which cooling fans are, you know, some yards will give you, you know, electric motor price for them. Um, that's, that's entirely up to you if you want to go digging for it. It's mostly plastic anyway. My yard won't give me anything for these things. They just tell me to throw in the light iron. Um, behind this switch right here, if you go digging in there, you might be able to find um, a little silver contact. But that is... Eh, well, not so bad. Pull that off. Oh, hey, look at that. I pulled the little silver contact out right with it. Alright, so really super tiny. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. Right on the end, it's a tiny silver contact, but hey, silver is silver. All adds up. So, now we get to the board. The main board. So, the ribbon wire here, not gold plated, so put that aside. Now, so this ribbon wire, not gold plated. Not gold plated. Wow, Sony, I'm surprised. Okay, so we look at the rest of this and um, I will zoom in. Alright, so now keep in mind again, I am not an expert. I, you know, I want everyone to understand this that there is a lot of stuff that I don't know. So all I'm going to show on you is all I'm going to show you guys on here is what I do know, um, and you know go from there. If there's something that you see that you know for sure what it is that I haven't pointed out, please make sure you put it in the comment section. You know the point of these videos is for everyone to learn as we go. So let's start off with well IC chips. We've got a whole bunch of these IC chips all over the place. We've got a BGA chip here. That's one of those nice. Um, high-end ones. So these typically pop off pretty easy. Um, yep, so these tend to have you know, a pretty good gold value in them. We've got this little black box right here is actually ceramic. You can tell when you, when you tap it with a metal object you get that kind of like, almost like hitting a rock. So these are kind of like small ceramic CPUs. I mean, if you take them off, you'll find that inside there is gold wiring. And I usually just take, you know, if I'm not air chiseling everything off, I take a pair of pliers like this, the ones that don't have teeth, just put it right over it and twist. All right, so now you can see right in there. Oops. Where is it? Alright, 
So right in there, you can see, or you should be able to see maybe, get that to focus in. Come on, focus. Oh, close enough. So in there you've got gold in that. All right. So all those little pieces you want to make sure you, you put aside and um, you would treat that just like a ceramic CPU. You know, you would need nitric acid and stuff. Alright, so there's that. What else do we have here? So we did the ICs. There's a whole bunch of these monolithic ceramic capacitors. Uh, they are all over the place. We've got so this guy right here. Um, a lot of people pass over it because they don't think it's an IC chip. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called uh, a SIP or single inline package. So this has three legs, so it could have three bonding wires in there, gold bonding wires. So you want to make sure you pull those off. You, they process the exact same way as an IC chip. So, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to throw them in. All right, so now let's move around here. We've got, so this little guy right there, that little surface mount device, that's got gold plating all over it that you can see. Uh, so you want to make sure you save those up. And... Got some little, I believe those are tantalum capacitors. All right, and then of course you've got gold plated pins in both of these things. And we flip it over, get that big rubbery thing. Gross. All right, so back here. We've got some other stuff. Now, you want to get in the habit of taking that battery out. You know, this battery, you want to take out any batteries you see right away. Just get rid of them. Um, because any place that buys boards, they have to get rid of that. Um, they can't ship it overseas if it has those batteries in it, so you know, it causes problems. They end up paying you less. So, you know, just to save yourself some time and money, um, just pop those out real quick. So we've got two BGA chips. Pull that out a little bit more. There we go. It's got two BGA chips. Those are um, some really good chips right there. Uh, we've got looks like a couple of tiny little silicon die cap chips, and, and they're BGA-ish. I'm not sure. They might be. Um, and then we got this one right here. These metal cap chips um, are not always that great. But you look at the the back of it. So this one's got that uh, that black epoxy part. So this one shouldn't be too bad. But you know you have to get rid of all that metal first, which can be a pain in the Heineken. They don't usually want to come off too easily. Anyway, so these I don't have a whole lot of experience on. Uh, so if anyone out there has more info please make sure to post it down in the uh, comment section so moving on we've got some gold plating here in the, the battery terminals I'm not seeing much for any other like surface mount device and there's a few of them down here along the edge these little black ones uh, those might contain like ruthenium oxide or other platinum based metals or uh, platinum group metals sorry and these little Things right here are just you know, aluminum capacitors, nothing big there, a couple of nice little chunky monolithics. But all in all, that's pretty much it. So this is mid-grade board. Eh, maybe high grade. Maybe. But probably mid-grade. I mean, there's, there's a lot of ICs on it. 
but I mean if you look at the majority of the surface area it's it's blank really so to me that kind of says mid-grade board all right so we got that next up we've got this part which was the uh, the front of it place where the uh, the memory card plugs in so we've got a little light iron there and that wow that's really dug in there so this I'm looking at it and the, the plating on some of these things is so light I mean, unless it's just worn off from repeated use um, and that's basically all this is it just pins I and mean, you can see down in there where the pins it just they come straight down so I don't think there's a whole lot in there to really go digging for and finally the little memory card so this little guy it looks like one of those old school like Nintendo cartridges it'd be cool if it had like the gold fingers but it doesn't at least this one doesn't Oh, hey, it unscrews. And the screws are rusted, which is usually not a good sign, so no resale value on that. All right, pull that off. And, oh yeah, they are gold plated. Huh. So, we've got some gold fingers there. I mean, it's it's not a great gold plate. It's pretty pretty shiny and thin. You can almost see the copper through it. But uh, yeah, we got a couple of you know, ICs on there. Some monolithic ceramic capacitors. Yeah, and that's it. All right, so that's it for the uh, PlayStation Two. So <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of stuff in there with uh, you know possibility of you know, some good gold recovery material especially if you're into doing this on your own a lot of stuff you can stockpile those BGA chips are nice to add up uh, all those IC chips they're easy to process and nice to add, nice to pile up um, a lot of gold plated pins yeah some nice chunks of aluminum so I think that's it <laughs> So, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, share, hit that bell. And uh, if you want to uh, enter into my 100,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel, my DIY Daddy channel, and the other channels that I have mentioned in the description in this video. And that's it. It's free to enter. And if anyone who has subscribed to all of those channels on December 31st, 2020, if I hit 100,000 subscribers by midnight, and I will be drawing several people, I mean, at, at a minimum of 10 people to win prizes. And this is going to be from, you know, recovered gold to silver, um, copper ingots. Uh, like the, the first ingots that I, that I make with my new forge, I'm going to be giving those away as part of that, that prize. You know, t-shirts, hats, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you, you, you subscribe to those. And see you all in the next one.